Hello everybody, today is day six of create a video in two hour challenge and today we're going to go over Greg Shorthand, just a brief introduction into what Greg Shorthand is. And for that, let me go ahead and pull up my presentation here. Notes, there we go. So this is an introduction to the Greg Shorthand system. And to start off, we have to understand what, uh, what Greg is attempting to do and that is a transcription. What is transcription? It's the process of recording a message. Um, anytime I speak, anytime there's dialogue, uh, the, um, that is uh, that can be recorded in in a, a written code. And a written code is a transcription. Now, if it's just, for instance, I'm speaking to you, that is an audio recording. So if I wanted to be able to um, record it uh, as, as written text, that's a transcription. There are two types of transcription. The first is the orthographic um, method, and that is where words are recorded with proper letters according to the current cultural standard. Okay, that will change over time, right? Um, in the 1700s, they, they had a different writing uh, system than they now now have. So that's uh, that is orthographic. Then you have a phonetic transcription, and this is recording the sounds of speech um, according to a constructed system of sound mapping. Usually an orthographic system is a little bit more organic. It's emergent from different cultures dealing with each other, whereas phonetic tends to be someone sat down and, and uh, um, systematically created a system for trying to interpret um, the written word. Okay, an example of this is an IPA chart. Okay, this is the International Phonetic Alphabet. This one was revised in 2020. And this is a map of all the sounds that uh, humans are able to make and that they use in order to transmit information. Okay, so you see we have our, uh, some of these make a lot of sense. For instance, um, uh, our P and our B are, as you would expect, they represent the sound P and B. That would be your plosive bil bilabial. And you see here that the symbols to the right in a cell are voiced, to the left are voiceless. Okay, so P and B are technically the same sound, except one is voiced and, or, or excuse me, one is unvoiced and the other one is voiced. Okay, so this is the International Phonetic Alphabet. Now, Greg is a type of yeah, um, it's a type of phonetic transcription. Uh, so, like IPA, it's attempting to uh, to um, record the sounds of speech as opposed to a correct uh, transcription of the proper spelling of words. But it has a slight twist. IPA is very it, it is um, uh, concerned with exactness of sound, so it has to be exactly as it is being presented. Greg is not interested with the exactness of sound. It is interested with the abbreviation of sound, especially of the more common and frequently used words. Words like and, the, what, can, um, good, will. I, he, she. All of these words, which is a very small set, are uh, abbreviated to make them tr uh, transmitted much more uh, readily. And we'll get into that uh, in, in future videos. All important sounds are recorded. So that also brings into consideration there are some sounds which are throwaway sounds. We call them schwa, schwa sounds, or silent consonants. For instance, in the word match, uh, you have TCH used to make up one sound. Well, you don't need to record that if you're trying to go for speed. And so Greg only records important sounds, okay? And this is recorded using a system of easily drawn geometric shapes and figures. It was developed in 1881 by John Robert Gregg. There are multiple versions. Uh, the version that I will be demonstrating in this video and future videos is what's known as the Anniversary Edition, which was uh, developed or it was presented in 1916. It's the most, uh, it, it relies the most heavily on abbreviations, um, and uh, it, plus it's a lot of the content for this is open source, so it's easy to, it's easy access to uh, learn this particular uh, uh, flavor 
of Greg. And we'll just take a quick look here. Uh, I, I have it written here, uh, example text. But before we do that, I'm going to show you the alphabet quickly. And it's on the next page. So the alphabet. Now, it's, it's not a true alphabet in the way we think of it, in that we have A, B, C, D, E, F, G, yada, yada, all the way down to X, Y, Z. Uh, that alphabet is an orthographic understanding of text, okay? So, uh, for instance, we have this very first uh, character, this uh, stroke, as it's called in Greg, um, the K sound. It's not K, and it's not C. It's K, the sound itself, G. R, L, N, N, T, D, Th, V, B, V, Ch, J, S, Sh, Ch, N, as in ring, and then N, K, as in drink or oink. Okay? Each of those are the sounds that are recorded. You see, so that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, uh, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. So there are 21 sounds or uh, consonants that are recorded in the Greg system. And then, uh, and then the vowels, there are four groups of vowels, and each one has a particular... It, it, if we were to take a look at the IPA ch uh, chart, we see here they have this vowel uh, structure going from closed down to open. And this is the positions in the mouth where a vowel is made, because a vowel is just the vibration of the of the vocal cords and uh, a shaping of the mouth around it. So, ah, 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 e, u, e, 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 e. Each of those is considered a vowel, and they're made in different parts of the mouth. And so each of those are then represented on this chart here. Uh, Greg does the same thing, except it, it separates it into a, your A group, as it's called, your E group, your O group, and your U group. Some of these are a little bit different from the way IPA does them, but that was the convention at this time, and so that is the uh, those are the symbols that are demonstrated. Finally, we have the diphthongs, and these are when you combine uh, two, two vowels, right? So, U, as in unit, it's an E, U sound, so you use the E and the U vowel, um, uh, strokes together to get U. And then you have your owl, which is a, u, owl, as in owl. And then a, a e, oil, uh, so a, e, oil. And that is you're using your o stroke combined with an e stroke. And then finally, your i, as in aisle. And this would be your a, and then e. And it's, it's shaped as so it's the large circle and then the small circle. So those are the strokes of, of Greg, and we'll go over them in uh, greater detail later, including the formation of them, but this is just a brief overview. Finally, we're going to take a look at some of the books that are available uh, in, in Greg, um, in Greg sh uh, shorthand, um, and we'll start with Alice in Wonderland, okay? So we have here the text, uh, and this is from uh, Gutenberg, project Gutenberg.org, and it's the very first chapter, Down the Rabbit Hole. Alice was beginning to get very tired of sitting by her sister on the bank and having nothing to do. This is the orthographic way of presenting the story, and now let's take a look at Greg. So this is Greg, Down the Rabbit Hole. Alice was... Let's see if I can, I, I don't know if I can annotate this or not. Uh, did they allow, oh, they do allow annotations. Can I? Oh, I don't know if I can do that. Well, we'll just read it. So it's this first stroke here. Alice was b, g, in, ing, ing, and the dot is here at the end. So a, o, s. And then here's that abbreviated uh, um, sound that I was telling you about. Was is os. Was. And then beginning, it's b, g, e, ng. B, g, e, ng. Beginning. To get, t, u, g, e, t, v, very, very, tired, t, i, d, t, i, d. See that? So you see. I'm not going to go any further because it, it 
when you're first trying to understand what's going on here, it can be a little bit of a, of a brain twister. But um, you see here that this is just a very brief example of how, uh, so far, we have one, two, three, four, five. Five words that are fairly common, and they are very abbreviated, so you get just the most basic understanding of the sound, and then the context itself will tell you what is going on here. Okay, so that was an example of Greg in action, um, and of course we'll go over more uh, more in future videos, how to form the letters, how to write proper Greg, uh, um, things like writing direction, uh, where you place your vowels, all that sort of information. All right, so uh, I have some I have some links, and this will be shared at the bottom of this video. I've created a GitHub uh, shorthand repository, and in this repository, you will find all of the documents from this video. So for instance, a copy of the Greg Manual, um, the IPA chart, if you wish to have that. Uh, there's another version, uh, I'm not sure if I've put it in the, in the shorthand repository, but it's a, it, it's a conventional black and white, uh, um, whereas this one isn't the, um, the blue, the blue background. Um, and then we have Alice in Wonderland, so the, the entire text in Greg shorthand. And if you want to follow along, you can go to projectgutenberg.org in order to uh, do a side-by-side -side comparison. And then finally, of course, the link to the uh, repository itself. Okay, thank you very much for watching. This has been day six of Create a Video in Two Hour Challenge and a brief introduction of the Greg Shorthand System. I'm really excited about showing you more of this really amazing way of transcribing speech. Thanks for watching.